welcome to another adventure with getting lost as you remember last week during our last the first chinese garden adventure we actually visit this place which is the bonsai garden and then behind that is the seven story pagoda we visited this both these places and today we're going to explore the rest of the chinese garden this is one of the places we're going to visit here where it's actually a man-made lake in, inside the gardens itself and opposite us is the stone boat and also the tea house unfortunately um, there are no stalls there anymore the stalls unfortunately has closed, closed down and you cannot get a nice cup of tea there anymore but the buildings are still there for you to enjoy and of course you can enjoy the nice breeze and of and for coming from the pond itself and then you can actually sit in this pavilion itself and enjoy it but look at that let's just stay a while and just enjoy the environment and the wind which was quite nice when I was there even though the sun was hot but I was in a shaded area so it was quite nice oh yeah sorry we forgot we're supposed to be enjoying the quiet Okay, so this was where we were just now. Okay, and we were looking across the small little pond. And look, this pond itself has a lot of turtles. Okay, this is a statue of Confucius. So this is the Confucius garden itself. Uh, nothing much here except the statue Next up here is the Live Turtle and Tortoise Museum Okay, which is over this uh, over this place here you It costs you five dollars uh, uh, Entrance fee and you can see almost I think 200 over species of turtles in there Okay. Like I told you last week, uh, I, when I came here, I didn't go through the main entrance because this is the main entrance. Look at that. Doesn't it look impressive? This is the main entrance for the Chinese garden. Upon entering the gardens, visitors are greeted by two marble stone lions at the main entrance. It is a Chinese belief that lions represent authority and felicity. Sculptured stone lions are often placed at entrance of buildings, temples, as guardians of those places. The pair of stone lions at the Chinese garden were sculpted from imported marble stone. The main entrance leads to the White Rainbow Bridge. The bridge is one of the characteristic features of the gardens. The design of the White Rainbow Bridge is adapted from the style of the 17-arch bridge at Beijing's Summer Palace and over the side here you can see there is the Twin Pagodas let's see if we can get a better view of the bridge from the other side wait a minute what's that running across the street anyway here is the bridge itself 13 arches this is called the white rainbow bridge okay but earlier as you saw there was something running across the road here let me see let's see whether if we keep quiet whether we can find out what it was okay so it ran across the road and hit somewhere there so what could it be if we are quiet Look at that, 
is an otter mm, they don't realize that I'm here but look at that an otter wow um, I heard stories of the otters there are actually otters living here but this is the first time that I actually saw it okay. so they're actually somehow living in the bushes around here I'm just wondering why are they actually at the bushes here I say they because I don't I didn't only see one there's actually two otters that I actually saw here and I found out why that the otters were actually at this area if you actually look down here in the holes itself there are actually water in the hole here so I suspect that this is their nest so they're actually nesting under the underneath the building so that was where I saw them rubbing themselves on the ground and then finally they went into the holes here Okay, as we go into the building itself, there's the bridge again. This is actually quite an impressive archway. The arch and main gate complex house an ornamental pool and two courtyard gardens. As we go in here, you notice there's actually a small little pond here. And around the pond itself, if you actually look at it carefully, there's actually a plastic they actually covered all the railings itself with plastic that was because the otters actually came in here and started to eat the fish so to protect the fish they actually put in this plastic wall on the railings itself so that the otters cannot go in there and, and eat the fish and look this is another bird itself Okay, I'm sure if I get closer, the bird itself will actually start to fly away. If you look across the lake, you can see the new expansion or renovation for the park being built there. It is planned to be completed in 2018. So look forward to that. Beside that, there's also these uh, twin pagodas. These pagodas itself are significant because it gives you a very nice view of the lake. And I didn't climb up to the to the third floor here because I already climbed up seven floors earlier. And so I think I have filled my quota for pagoda climbing for the week. No, 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 more than a week for the month. Yeah for the month. My Pogoda climbing quota has been filled for the month. If you plan to take some selfies, I think the twin pagodas here would make an excellent background for you. There is also a pair of pagodas by the lake which are modelled on the spring and autumn pagodas in southern China. Here's the view of the lake. And that is the White Rainbow Bridge. From afar, it does look quite nice. And of course, you know, coming to any park in Singapore, you cannot escape having to meet 
the local wildlife. Over here, you have some turtles or tortoises that due to being amphibians, they need to lace around in the sun. So these are some of the animals here, as you can see, the turtles enjoying some sunbathing. Uh, only thing missing is a little tiny turtle bikini. But other than that, still sunbathing, catching some rays, enjoying the sun. Oh, and here's another thing. I saw a monitor lizard in the gardens itself. I wonder if I get closer, what would they do? I mean, can a monitor lizard swim? I guess we'll find out. Let's just see. I think he has noticed me. Yeah. Oh, he's going in the water? Really? Good. A monitor lizard can swim. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We have seen a few interesting things at the Chinese garden. Next up, we're going to visit the Japanese garden. So join me for that. And you know what to do. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to join me for my next adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>